equations with um, unknown powers. So we are going to solve this equation. He has unknown power x. We look for x. Looking at this equation, we have 2 for 16. So the, the lowest base here is 2. We have to make all this to have the same base as this. So we take 2. 2 means 2 raised to the power 1 times 2 raised to the power 2 gives 4. In bracket, x plus 1 equals to 2 raised to the power 4 gives 16. In bracket 2, x. So now, this base and this base they are the same. What do we do? We add their powers. We have 2, 1 plus 2 times x gives 2x. Two, 2 times 1 plus 2 equals to 2. 4 times 2 gives 8x. So here we have 1 plus 2, it gives 3. So looking at this, the left hand side and the right hand side, they have the same base. We equate their powers. So now we have 2x, 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 8x. Okay, now we bring like terms together. 2x
Let's take number three. Here we have a fraction. You see, we have a minus fraction here. So we have to make the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side, as I always say. This base is the lowest base, two, two. So we have to make A to have the same base as, as this. We have two x on two equals to two base to the power three gives eight times two minus x on two. So now let's look at this. We add the powers because their bases are the same. We have two x on two equals to two three minus x on two. Okay. So we have three minus x on on two because plus adding their powers. If I take plus minus, it gives me minus. That's why I have this minus. This minus is maintained. So here yeah, I'm going to have equating their powers. I'll have x on two equals to three minus x on two. So I take the t x tends on the left side. When this minus x on 2 comes this way, it becomes plus. So I have x on 2 plus x on 2 equals to 3. Their bases are the same, so we just add the numerator. x plus x gives 2x. So I have 2x on 2 equals to 3. This and this cancel. We have x is equals to 3. So now I ask the question. How do you know your answer is correct? X equals to 2. Let's find out. Okay. Remember our solution here, our we found our X to be equals to 3. So um, we are going to place where we see X, we put 3. To see if it's equals, um, this, equa this equation is actually equal. So we take the left hand side. We have 2 raised to the power 3 on 2. Okay, this is the left hand, the left hand side. Okay, let's take the right hand side. With the right hand side, we have 8 times 2 minus 3 on, on 2. Let's simplify this. Here we have 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 minus 3 on 2. So we have 2, 3 minus 3 on 2. If I look for the LCM here, I'll have, let me make this very big, I'll have, here I have 2, 2 goes here one time, 6 minus 3, it gives me 6 minus 3 to be on, on 2. So I'm going to have 2 raised to the power 3 on 2. This is our right hand side. So you see here that our left hand side, we have 2 raised to the power 3 on 2. Our right hand side, we have 2 raised to the power 3 on 2. So if the left hand side, if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, Therefore, x is correct. It means your equation is actually correct. Your solution and everything is correct.